Tags are used to quickly sort and filter clips, shots, and to help keep us organized. We can add notes and metadata to clips and shots and other useful areas using tags. In our tag tab, we have various tags to choose from, including application, shot type, and shot status. We can also create custom tags that have preset data and custom icons. We can add tags to many things, so let's start at the source clips. We can right click on single or multiple clips and under the tag, add a tag. We can also drag tags. Once we add a tag, we can select it and add a note. When we add notes, it's also added to the metadata of the tag. And we can even add additional metadata. This information will be associated with the tagged clip or item and it's going to be useful throughout the project and when we export. We want to use these tags to stay organized as we build out. We can tag track items as well. The tags can be in line with our asset manager, which we push and pull data to, especially useful for shot status. We can also add multiple tags to clips and track items. Let's mark these track items with a nuke tag as they're going to be going to comp, as well as a tag to mark this group of shots, which we can use later for filtering and on export. We can tag tracks. And we can also drag tags onto the viewer. From here, we can add a tag to the sequence, current frame, the selected track item, or the source clip for the track item. If we add a track to the sequence, the tag will be placed in the upper area of the viewer's UI. When we tag frames, the tag will also be placed on top of the viewer as well as in the viewer's timeline. This will be useful for highlighting any frames you want to keep track of during review. Also, we would tag any frames of shots right away to keep track of any issues. If we have multiple frames that are tagged, we can jump to the tags by holding Alt, Shift, and the left or right arrow keys. We can use the filter in the project tab to find source clips that have tags. We can also flag to show the clips in a bin that don't have the tag applied. From the spreadsheet, we can drag tags to filter clips and track items. In this case, we are isolating the shots marked approved. We can quickly jump to each shot by holding Alt and left clicking on an item. Tags can also be added from the spreadsheet. You can remove tags from frames or shots by clicking on the tag and then clearing it. If there's multiple tags, you can choose which ones you want to remove. Lastly, the tags will be useful when it comes to exporting. We can use these tags during export operations to include or exclude items with tags.